That's all you get. I'm not giving you any more. That's it. Just a teaser. Maybe one more teaser. Oh, that is wonderful. Just look at it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Sorry. That's a teaser. Not till next week. Next week. How y'all doing? Is everybody doing well? I hope that you're doing very well today. It is Sunday, and it is the shave of the day. And today I'll be doing a face shave. It's going to be a little different than what I normally do. Um, I was trying to think of what to do today as far as a uh, shave goes. And um, I uh, watched a video this past week, and I'm not going to name names, so I'm going to be very general about what I said, about what I say. Um, so just bear with me. Um, an individual posted a uh, video this past week, and he was using a soap that is very prolific uh, in the wet shaving community. Um, it's a it's a a soap company that I I, I admire them, um, and I, I I watch to see what they do and things like that on their marketing and, and anyway get some ideas from them. Um, to see what works. I mean, they're they're huge. They're huge in the wet shaving company. Anyway, the uh, individual <clears throat> uh, described the uh, the soap and the scent and the normal routine of the shaving and everything, and and then he's, he lathered up with it. And I, I want to say that right about the time he started shaving, he was like, you know, the soap's just not slick enough, and he questioned whether he would purchase it ever again. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Um, so anyway, if you've seen the video, you may know what I'm talking about. Like I said, I'm not going to put any names out there. You're just keeping it general. Um, but it sparked a, something in me that um, kind of struck me as odd. Is this that paying for a soap that's not really that slick? And uh, and so that's one of the things that I, I I say about my soaps is that they're slick. And so anybody who orders them, you should know how slick they are. And so I do some real general basic things to make them very slick. Um, and give you that really nice, smooth, comfortable shave. And so I'm going to put that to the test today. It is a slickness test. So here's the slickness test. Um, this is a piece of, it's an end cutting. Locally, when I sell, uh, a lot of the local guys like the straight soap puck by itself. So I do sell those locally. Um, I don't really have them up to sell on the um, website or anything. I do the jars and the sticks, um, and they're, I think one or two of them, I do have a puck that you can, that I'll ship to you. And some guys have ordered pucks from me, but generally speaking, my local guys um, will buy just the hard puck. This is an end cap to um, when the way I slice them up. This is just a, a starting point. Um, for example. So anyway, this is just the end cut of it. Okay, so I'm gonna take this end cut. I'm not gonna use a brush, so no brushes. Um, and I'm going to just lather with my hands the slickness of the soap that I make. And I'm gonna shave with it today and we're gonna see what happens, okay? So either this is gonna be, was a bloody mess. You, <laughs> you're not gonna see it. <laughs> um, I won't uh, I won't subject you to that, but if it, if it does, I expect it to be fine. I don't, I don't have any problems with it. I think it's going to be very, very slick and no problems whatsoever. So no beautiful lathers out of this today because it's going to be a hand lather. Okay, so if I'm going to put this to a test, what am I going to do? Right now I have in pieces my um, uh, Mula um, R89, and the only way I can think of to do a slickness test proper is to go with a sharp blade, and that's a feather. So we are going to put a feather blade into the R89. I'm gonna do it right here so that you know I put a feather in there and I actually shaved with a feather. So there's the blade, okay? Bear with me, I'm gonna try not to cut my hands while I do this. There's the cap, okay? Blade on cap, safety bar, and handle, okay? All right, so there's that, it's in there. I 
promise in all the editing I'm not going to take this out. You just have to trust me and take my word for it. All right, so anyway, there's the feather. Okay, the soap. This is the Tobacco Blossom. I actually used it last week, um, but this is just the end cut from Tobacco Blossom. Tobacco Blossom is tobacco... Uh, tobacco Caramel is the scent of the soap. Tobacco Blossom is the base note in the scent profile. It also has caramel, mandarin, honey, and rose. All right, and we're going to finish the shave off with Bay Rum. Um, so let me rinse my, rinse my face real quick. And another thing, I'm going to hot water. Frozen February is over with. We're moving into to March. I really enjoy uh, the cold water. Uh, Jimco, uh, C. Kiefer, I, I hope I pronounced that right. Um, uh, Flash Boredom, Lord um, Shaved Wise. All these guys have done cold water shaves and uh, cold water, again, cold water shaves for frozen February. And I did the same thing. So we've all done it. I've really enjoyed what the result is. However, I am going to jump back into hot water and see if. I notice a, a return to maybe some irritation areas. I really like the results. I'm going to see if I if it favors back the other direction, and then I'll make a decision whether I'm going to stay cold or if I'm going to stay hot. So right now I'm going to turn on hot water, okay, and I'm going to get my face all nice and hydrated. Um, it's mostly hydrated from being out of the shower, but I'm going to wet my face real good, and then we're going to hand lather apply and we're going to shave and I'm not using a pre-shave oil either so it's dry face okay I'm not using any this is just on the soap alone all right I'll be right back all right Wet my hands. I'll turn that off so you can hear. All right, here we go. Round and around we go. All right, so it's not, I mean, it's, it's just the thick, gooey mess. It's not even really a lather. It's just thick and gooey. Now, most of these end up in the bottom of uh, my shaving bowl. I'm going to have to add a little bit of water to that. A little bit of water. Alright. So for the most part, this shouldn't build much of a, a real lather. Not like a, a brush lather. Um, but this is just, I guess, applying it to the face. Alright. And I think that's a decent amount. I'm going to rinse my hands off so I don't drop the razor. And I apologize, I'm not I'm trying not to edit much of this out and go straight into the shave. It hopefully be a little short, but um so there it is. There's the razor. See still no editing. Alright, we're gonna go straight into the shave just on this alone, okay? So here we go. With the grain, feather blade, slickness test. So guys, I hope you're doing well. Uh I hope your weekend's going well. I'm gonna put a little water in the uh, sink. Just bear with me. Um, still very, very busy uh, around my office. That's okay. Making it happen. And that's not having any problems here. No problems. All right, I think that's enough water in the sink. Hope the weather is well. It's uh, jumping all over the place here. We've been warm the last couple of days. All right, our 
pass number one. All right, so uh, let me rinse or add some water to my face. left all right I'm gonna rinse my hands off of that we're gonna keep rocking and rolling man keep rocking and rolling with just that slickness test I don't know if I'm crazy or if I'm confident about my soap. And I guess I was gonna say for the naysayers, say, well he's not he don't have a razor in there, a blade in there. There's the blade. And there's a little nick right there. So apparently I'm I've got a blade in there. Uh, not uncomfortable. Nothing snagging. I probably shouldn't be talking at the same time, but I got a little ingrown right there. I do. I didn't even feel it until I started shaving and I saw it. All right. Um, little bit of water. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add just a little bit of soap. Not much. Back to my face. Because ultimately, even with a brush, I mean, you're going back and putting lather on your face. And uh, I'm just doing this for like the slickness. So we're not talking about a full lather. We're talking about slickness. Still got a blade in it. So probably not the greatest shave in the world. You're not going to see a big, beautiful lather this time. Not today. All right, a little bit of water. For the most part, if you're paying attention, I'm doing against the grain here 
on the slickness of the soap. So like I said, this nut not normal. So I'm doing baby butt smooth, crazy shave, no lather, just the slickness of my soap. And I'm gonna call that good. That's baby, that's pretty freaking BBS for me. All right, drain that out. I'll rinse my face off with warm water. And yeah, I mean, you know, of course I used a, a razor because I got a, a little nick there, which means that I was true to not doing any trickery. And a feather, which I was probably going to nick myself regardless, whether I had a whole bunch of lather or not. All right. Here we go. Alum block. Really not that. Right around where I nicked myself down here, there was that little spot. But other than that, nice and smooth, no bite. All right. So, I mean, I. You know, I, I would. I guess. I guess the point of this was is that um, when I heard the individual talk about the fact that he'd spent, um, you know, his hard-earned money on a on a soap that he may enjoy the fragrance, he he said he wasn't wild about the slickness or the lack thereof. And uh, so that's one of the things I, I when I formulate a soap, make sure that it's nice and slick. And so I just shaved three passes. BBS without a lather, no brush, just the hands, trying to just get the slickness itself. And, and I, I think it's I'm I'm good, I'm good. You know, no big breakout or anything like that. So I, I mean, you know, I did nick myself a little bit down here on the side, which you know it's a brand new feather blade. I expected I'd probably do that. All right, let me rinse some uh, alum off, and then we'll do the after shave. Uh, took the kids roller skating today. It's been right 20 years since I've been on a pair. And I'm going to feel that in the morning. But the kids had a good time. First time they've ever been. And, uh, and a pair of skates. Both of them were actually skating for the most part by themselves. Daddy's still hovering over them make sure they didn't get run over on the skate floor but uh, by the bigger kids but not holding daddy's hand and moving along you know at a proper uh, pace pretty proud of my kids first time ever and I was able to start roller skating without holding on daddy's hands all right so there we go nice pat of that all right here we go after shave bay rum after shave shake that up Should do it. Smells good. Put that on. Um, I'm not really trying to make this a challenge or anything, uh, you know. But if you got a soap that you think's extra slick, does the job for you, man, rock on. You know. 
uh, this was more or less for me and my products to show that this was slickness test. And like I said, when I, when I heard the guy talk about the fact he spent his hard-earned money on soap that he really wasn't happy with, um, it just kind of hit me to heart because I, I make this stuff for people. And if you're going to spend your hard-earned cash, I want you to have a product that you're happy with. Um, so anyway, that's my goal, and that's um, what I strive to do as far as Monroe Shaving Company products and stuff. And so there you go. There is a slickness shave. No lather, no brush, just slapping it on the hands, putting the slickness on the face, and shaving with it. And so, it's actually a good shave. Not bad. I actually enjoy the brush and the lather and all that fun stuff, so it's not a habit. I won't be doing this a lot. So anyway, <clears throat> guys, I hope that you uh, enjoyed that. <laughs> I did. It's still nice and smooth. The bay rum smells really nice and just makes my fins... Uh, face feel good so anyway um hope you enjoyed it thank you so much uh thank you to the new subscribers um and uh thanks for the um for the positive feedback and the comments if you like what you see make a comment down at the bottom um you know any suggestions anything like that give me a holler talk to me uh we did a feather blade this week so we're gonna do feather blades all through the month um four different razors same feather blade um, all the way to the end of the month. So it'll be Feather Blade Mar March. Yeah, it doesn't. There's no rhyme or reason to any of this stuff. Uh, but uh, last week we did the menthol thing. And if you were paying it, I said last week. Um, I think we did do menthol last week. And the week before that was actually the tobacco caramel. I'm getting mixed up on my days. Either way, I know we did a menthol shave uh, with some experimental stuff. I passed that stuff out. Um, to some of the guys that are locally that come by and, and buy and purchase and uh, it's man it's got good good reviews everybody is jumping up and down pre-orders on poppy highway have already started and it's not even up for sale until next week so i ain't sold any of it but there's there's a lot of demand i've, I've had um, people smell it and uh, know the scent profile and uh, so it should be good so when i put it up next week um, next week's video will be poppy highway soap um, and then it will be posted and ready for sale also, and I'll explain why it's called Poppy Highway. So anyway, I look forward to next week. I hope you look forward to next week in some Poppy Highway. Where'd it go? There it is. One more teaser. There you go. Poppy Highway. Got to know your history too. All right, anyway, thank you very much for watching. In. I hope that you have a wonderful week. Have a safe week. Enjoy your week. Make it an upbeat week and a happy week. And other than that, happy shaves.